The last thing we should talk about is how to write a brief report. So you have now had experience writing a physics lab, a scientific report. This is the, the general structure of a scientific report. There may be variations in chemistry or biology or physics, but the general idea of reporting an experiment is to tell people what you did, how you did it, what equipment you used, and, uh, how you analyzed the data, and you write it as a scientific report. But that's not the only way to report scientific re results. And so for this last lab report, we're going to try a little bit of a variation that's called a brief report. You're going to like this because it's brief. It's shorter. And so let me just go over the main idea of all this. There is a handout also that summarizes this. So what do you do for a brief report? Well, first of all, you want to label it as a brief report. So on the cover, on the top title page or whatever, so that the reader knows what to expect, along with your lab partner and the date and the class and all that. Now it's a brief report, so you have no background information. We will assume that your reader knows the background information. And you also don't need to list the equipment no uh, equipment and no procedure. Because those are given, well, the lab handout doesn't list an equi the equipment, but it describes the equipment that you use and the method of operation. And it, and, and it also tells you the procedure, so you don't need to re repeat that unless there are deviations. So what you do want to do is say that you followed the handout and cite the handout. And in fact, that's an important part of the, this last report is that citing your sources, including you want to reference, you want to tell the reader, hey, we followed the directions in the, in the handout. Now, you do the experiment, you want to describe your results. And you want to give as much detail, you want to give as much detail as you can here. It's still a lab report and you still want to tell uh, what you got. You do the results and the analysis. What conclusions can you draw? In this case, we're looking for what kind of glass might this be? You might not be able to determine what kind of glass it is, but you could determine what kind of glass it is not. So explain that to the reader. Explain your reasoning, not just the number. The number would be what the index of refraction is. The analysis would be, and it matches this kind of glass, but it can't be that kind of glass. Tell the reader what. So interpret the results. You should always, in any lab report, have a brief summary this summary could be really brief. We measured the index refraction and got this, and that means it's probably this kind of glass, or it rules out it being this kind of glass. There are three kinds of glass it might be, but no more. A couple of sentences, that's it. How are you going to find the index refraction of these various kinds of glass? You will need to look at an outside source and you need to cite your sources. source or sources. Okay, now, whenever you write something, it helps to picture who's doing the reading. And I find it helpful to, to think for a brief report um, to picture who the reader is. It's your boss. You graduated. Congratulations. You got a job doing science. Also, congratulations. Your assignment is to measure the index or refraction of this slab of, of uh, glass. Maybe it's the kind of glass that, that they're considering for the next cool project that your company's going to make. So you have to measure the index or refraction and report your results. And your boss already knows the methods. He knows what equipment we've got in the shop, he knows in the lab, 
he knows the methods and so and he just wants he or she just wants the results okay it still needs to be well written complete sentences grammar spelling all of those things but we're gonna just trim it down now that you've written a big one and you know where what everything goes we can take out some of that and do this in in a different format that you could present to your boss and tell them look I know that it's got this index and it's probably this kind of class